just starting off day four, first lock of the day. Called Pigeon's Lock. try and do a, a little bit more than the schedule today again because uh, weather's okay today and then we've got some rain over the next few days so yeah we can gain a bit of time again today that'll be good Lovely little setup there. How nice. sorts of dinky old caravans and Morris Minus and things. So we'll be on the uh, Oxford Canal all day today. I think we've got at least today and then maybe half of tomorrow or something on the Oxford Canal before we join the Grand Union. At some point we go through Banbury, I think. Not quite sure when. Maybe sometime tomorrow, Banbury. Remember, we're only going four miles an hour. But yeah, so far so good.
To walk through to the front. I've just been relieved of steering duty. I've got my socks drying on the back of the chair. Bridge number 212. Yeah, they've all got numbers. This one looks like it's made from wattle and daub or something. Obviously it isn't. But... That place that you, you just saw, we found out actually, uh, the place that, that was um, on the video a few minutes ago is called Annie's Tea Rooms and you can, you can have your tea and cake and go and sit in an old Morris Minor or sit in an old caravan and have your tea and cake or something. What a lovely idea that is, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting quite sort of uh, quite shallow at the sides now, so we're sort of sticking right down the middle. Really shallow at the side of the canal. Ivan coming into the lock. I've just opened that lock gate there. These locks that we're hitting now, there's quite a big difference in the heights. So this is quite a deep one. And you can see. So when he's in, once he's in, I'm going to close that gate, close the sluices to that gate, open the sluices on that gate, and then when it's filled, open the gate itself, let him through. Get ready to close that gate. Okay, so we're almost there now. Have you seen that boat up there? I think what's happened is as the water has drained into the lock from this side that boat isn't tied up or if it is it's only tied up at the back and not the front 
I don't know if there's anybody on it. We'll have to sort that lot out uh, once we're through the lock. I think it's only tied on at the back. So when you go through the lock, just pull into the side and then I'll go and have a look. It might be that you have to nudge it out of the way. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look. It's all fun and games on the canals. Look at that. Somebody's boat only tied on at the back. Anyway, let's sort this lock gate out and then we'll have a look. Right, apologies for this being a bit shaky because I'm obviously walking along the towpath. That boat uh, was attached to the back, not at the front. We just nudged it out of the way a little bit and then uh, I couldn't see a pin that was in the ground or anything to attach something at the front. But and it, Well, it's just sitting there in in place now but the working boat so yeah I'll get on at the next bridge just have a shot of the boat going by off it goes Here are some horses and a lock and a bridge and there's a couple of kestrels over there I don't know if you can see it I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video This will probably be the last lock of the day then, it's quite a deep one again. Should we take, should we take him with us? What's down there then? What is it? <laughs> I think we found a new friend. Out. Right, here's our little spot for the night. I don't know if you can hear the a bit of traffic noise in the background, but uh, we wanted to get close to Banbury, which, I mean, this is a new new build thing on the outskirts, presumably, of Banbury. So, yeah, we just nip into Banbury in the morning, stop there for breakfast, and then uh, onward we will go. So, yes, that's uh, end of day four.